ka lang kuryente o so, paano yan so, dito muna tayo sa bandang may uh, pinto para kapag lecture tayo ng uh, maayos so intro muna channel today we're going to discuss about the baroque art so let's begin if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel you may click the subscribe button and notifications bell so that you will be updated also like us on facebook let's go now to the lesson the term baroque was derived from the portuguese word barocco which means irregularly shaped pearl or stone it describes a fairly complex idiom and focuses on painting, sculpture, as well as architecture. After the idealism of Renaissance and the slightly force of nature of mannerism. To all the viewers and listeners, I encourage you to post the important part of the video so that you will take note of the important details of each artist and their artworks here are the characteristics of baroque art first we have desires to evoke emotions often in dramatic ways second one is grandeur in sculpture painting architecture literature dance and music the third one we have the dramatic use of color next one dramatic contrast between light and dark light and shadow the genre scenes since that told stories of everyday life we have impasto brushwork this is thick and very visible application of paint in surface and the most important is realism here are the examples of baroque paintings today we will discuss the famous artists of the baroque periods and their artworks first we have Michelangelo Merisi Second, Gian Lorenzo Bernini We have Peter Paul Rubens Next, we have Rembrandt Van Rijin And lastly, Diego Velasquez First, we have Michelangelo da Caravaggio Also known as Michelangelo Merisi or Amerigi da Caravaggio He was better known as Caravaggio He was an Italian artist who wanted to deviate from the classical masters of the renaissance he was an outcast in his society because of his own actions and the lack of modesty and reverence for religious subjects in his own paintings perhaps he started out as a specialist in his paintings of still life especially of fruits we have michelangelo da caravaggio okay sabi nga dito he was an outcast in his society because of his own actions and lack of modesty and reverence for religious subjects and paintings pero based on my uh, uh, reading in this uh, article or uh, details medyo may pagka ano siya may, may pagka weird may weirdo yung kanyang uh, uh, dating so itong pagiging weirdo na to uh, makikita natin sa mga ibang artists Kaya ngayon, may mga may kita tayong uh, ganyang uh, behavior. Okay? Kaya ako dati. Dati akong ganyan, dati yung uh, weird. So, let's go now to the artworks of Michelangelo the Caravaggio. We have one of the famous artwork of Michelangelo the Caravaggio is the conversion of St. Paul. According to the details, the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle in uh, Damascus this is uh, according to the New Testament, this is an event in life of Paul the Apostle that led him to the cease of persecuting the early Christians. And the former name of uh, Paul is Saul. Then we have the Doubting Thomas. This is another painting with a biblical theme. Or uh, Doubting Thomas is also known as Thomas doubted about the resurrection of Christ. And, sabi nga ni Thomas, he is a to see is to believe. So, para mapaniwala itong si Thomas na nag-resurrect si Christ, so, 
try sa uh, encourage put his finger on his uh, peer's uh, body part. We have lastly the basket of fruit by Caravaggio. Caravaggio helped make the still life a popular artistic genre in the late 16th century painting basket of fruit. This is an example of sheer effort and design that went into all his works. Until now, itong uh, genre na to, itong uh, style ng mga basket of fruit, ito ay uh, ginagamit, okay? ginagaya sa mga art school or school of art for their uh, still life uh, painting. When I was in uh, college, ginawa namin ito, itong uh, still life painting ng mga fruits. And by the way, who's that Michelangelo of the Renaissance period? Can you guess? Alright, that is Michelangelo Lodovico Pornarotti. The next one, we have Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Bernini was an Italian artist and the first Baroque artist. He practiced architecture and sculpture, painting, stage design, and was also a playwright. He was also the last in the list of the dazzling universal geniuses as a prodigy his first artworks dated from his 8th birthday kung sa panahon natin nabuhay itong uh, si Gian Lorenzo Bernini malamang siya ay uh, tatawaging uh, gifted child because of his uh, talent talent in painting stage design he was also a uh, playwright, so yung mga stage uh, play. But, kaya tinawag siya na Give the Child because he was also the last in the list of the dazzling universal geniuses as a prodigy. His first artworks dated from his 8th, like not, 8th birthday. So, ganun siya, at that age, uh, nagpipinta na siya. Let's go now to the artworks of Gian Lorenzo. First, we have David. He made a sculpture of David. This was for Cardinal Borghese, which is strikingly different from Michael Angelo's David because it shows difference between the Renaissance and Baroque period. So, ano yung pinagkaiba ng dalawang ito? Okay? Itong David ni uh, Bernini ay merong uh, dramatical uh, actions like uh, uh, throwing a... Uh, stone in a slingshot so sino yung pinapatapa niya? malamang si Gulayat and the David of uh, Michelangelo in the Renaissance ito yung uh, David na nakatayo the standing and nakaposing and what's more uh, ito ay uh, nude compared dito sa David ni Gian Lorenzo Bernini we have another one, the Rape of Proserpina. This is a large Baroque marble sculptural group by an Italian artist Gian Lorenzo Bernini executed or executed between 1621 and 1622. Bernini was only 20 years old at its completion. So, ganun katalented or uh, kagaling mga artist during that time. Next, we have the bust of Pope Paul V. Okay, by the time he was 22, Bernini was considered talented enough to have been given a commission for a papal portrait. So, this is the bust of Pope Paul V. Now, in the J. Paul Getty Museum. Most common artworks of Gian Lorenzo were sculptures. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, mga sculpture yung mga pinapakita once you search or google Gian Lorenzo Bernini we have the next artist Peter Paul Rubens Rubens was a Flemish baroque painter he was well known for his paintings of mythical and figurative subjects landscapes portraits and counter reformation altar pieces his commissioned works were mostly religious subjects history paintings of magical creatures, and hunt scenes. His famous works were Samson and Delilah, Landscape with a Tower, Portrait of Helen Forment, and The Three Graces. 
Here are the artworks of Peter Paul Rubens. We have Portrait of Helen Forment, the daughter of a rich silk and rug merchant from the city of Antwerp. It was around this time that the painter's second wife, who was 36 years his junior, began to appear frequently in the artist's work in both compositions of a mythological nature and individual and family portraits. Another artworks of Peter Paul Rubens, we have the Paul of Phaeton. This is a uh, mythology inspired artworks. Then we have Mulai Ahmed. This is about 1609. Now in the Museum of Fine Arts of Lyon or Leon. We have another famous Baroque artist, Rembrandt Harmenzoon van Regine, also known as Rembrandt van Regine. Rembrandt was a brilliant Dutch realist, painter, and etcher. He was generally considered as one of the greatest painters and printmakers in European art. He followed no faith, but was interested in spiritual values and often chooses religious subjects. Rembrandt shares with Rubens the revolution whereby painting came to depict the more personal aspects of the painter, his own home, and his family. We have Rembrandt van Regine. Matunog yung pangalan niya during the Baroque period. Until now, matunog pa rin itong pangalan ni uh, Rembrandt, lalo na sa mga artists. Ginawan pa nga ito ng uh, brand ng isang uh, coloring material. I, I think that is uh, oil paint. And available ito sa kilalang store dito sa Pilipinas. And also, available ito sa mga kilalang uh, art supply store. So, let's check his artworks. Bakit siya naging uh, kilala? Okay. First, we have the prodigal son in tavern. Observe the painting. Okay. This is a self-portrait by Rembrandt. The next one, we have a Polish nobleman. Observe the painting. Lastly, we have the self-portrait. I think this is uh, in uh, pencil. This is a role-playing in self-portrait as an oriental potentate with a kris, a Japanese blade weapon from Vok era. Okay. Then, another one, the Polish Rider by Rembrandt. Possibly, Liso, eh, medyo nakabulol, on horseback. What have you noticed about the paintings of Rembrandt? Di ba? Puro mukha niya yung uh, nakikita ninyo, except sa last one. Yan ang tinatawag natin na self-portrait. So, how to make a self-portrait? Okay, first we have, magbihis ka kung anong uh, gusto mo. Sura. Then, umarap ka sa salamin together with your canvas and painting materials. Then, start painting yourself by looking at the mirror as your reference. The last one, Diego Velasquez. So, let's read. The last one, we have Diego Velasquez. Velasquez of Spain developed out of the Baroque. He was one of the finest masters of composition and one of the most important painters of the Spanish Golden Age. He worked out solutions to pictorial problems of design that transcend the style of any period. Velázquez was the case of a painter who discovered his avocation almost at the very start of his career, the passion for still life. Here are the artworks of Diego Velázquez. We have Las Meninas, or Les Meninas. May correction kayo, pakitype na lang sa comment section. The Maids of Honor. He created this work four years before his death and served as an outstanding example of the European Baroque period. Margaret Teresa, the eldest daughter of the new queen, appears to be the subject of Las Meninas, but in looking at the various viewpoints of the painting, it was unclear as to who or what was the true subject? It may be the royal daughter or the painting himself. Observe the painting. Okay? Ano yung mapapansin nyo dito sa painting ni Diego 
Velasquez. Okay. This is one of the detailed paintings of Diego Velasquez. Okay. Let's take a uh, closer look. So, in the close-up of Las Meninas or Las Meninas, you can see Diego Velasquez himself. Kaya yung sinabi sa detail, hindi natin alam kung sino ang focus dito, kung si Diego Velasquez or yung mga maids of honor. We have portrait of Juan de Pareja. Then, last week we have, from the left, the lady from court, and right, the portrait of Pablo de Valladolid, a court of pool of Philip the Fourth. So, you can uh, notice same lighting and also same background. Alright, medyo umiingay na dito sa paligid ko. To summarize the Baroque art, most of the Baroque art, especially the paintings and sculpture, may mga facial expression ito. At hindi rin mawawala yung tinatawag natin na body movement and body uh, expression. And kung mapapansin nyo sa mga paintings ng uh, Baroque uh, era or Baroque period, most of them ay naglalaban yung uh, light and darkness and so, may mga example na ginawa itong mga students ko Like uh, this one and This is made by Abby Nicole Perea Shout out sa'yo This is a uh, portrait And we have Ito talaga, naglalaban yung uh, light and dark so, This painting is made by uh, John Philip Chin So, shout out sa'yo inyo And uh, you may get this once na magkaroon tayo ng face-to-face uh, -face, uh, classes. So, sayang itong mga artworks nila. Ang gaganda pa naman kung hindi lang uh, nag-lockdown. So, and, shoutout pala sa aking uh, inahawakan, sa aking advisory na MHS Art Club. So, pagbuti nyo yung inyong mga pagguhit uh, and I can see your uh, improvements. If you learned something in our uh, lesson, you may type it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe at my YouTube channel, The Hobbyist Artist. And also, huwag nyo rin kalimutan na i-click yung notification bell so that you will be updated sa aking mga posts, lalo na sa mga lesson. Okay? Mag Nagpo-post din ako ng about sa aking mga adventures by uh, cycling, mountain biking, and also... Meron din tayong mga speed painting, speed drawing. So, that's all. Goodbye and God bless us all. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell for notifications. And also, like us on Facebook, The Hobbyist Artists. Thanks for watching.